Hey guys, in this video I want to give you an effective three-week deadlifting cycle. It's appropriate for early intermediate to intermediate lifters and maybe beyond. Before I get into that topic, guys, I encourage you to stick around to the end of the video. Find out how you can reach the big, hairy, ugly dude with your questions and or comments. So, before I get into this cycle, I want to let you know I've linked it below. There's a full explanation um, should I miss anything in this video. So check out the link below. The, the cycle is basically a three-week deadlifting cycle. You have a heavy day, a heavy week, followed by a light week, followed by a moderate week. What you're going to be doing during this cycle is you're only going to be doing deadlift singles. During the heavy week, you're going to start with 90%, uh, and you're, you'll do as many singles as you can for five minutes. During the light week, you'll use 70% of your one rep max and do as many singles as you can for 15 minutes. And during week three, the moderate week, you'll use 80% uh, of your one rep max and do that for as many singles as possible in 10 minutes. Now the singles, you don't want to rush. Okay, you want to set up, get, get a proper setup, hit your single, release your hands from the bar, stand up, gather your physical and mental senses, wait as long as you need to until you feel ready, even if it's a minute, minute and a half, whatever. Wait until you're ready for that next single, then reset your form, hit another single. This isn't a marathon, you're not trying to do rep sets here, you're just trying to do as many quality singles as you can in these 5, 10, or 15 minute blocks. If, during one of these sets, you get to the point where your form starts to break down severely or your lower back feels not so good and you're not sure if you can do another quality single without your form breaking down or hurting your lower back or stressing your lower back, you need to stop the set regardless if you hit the time period or not. So basically what you're doing is on the heavy days, if you hit five singles, then next week you add 10 pounds to the bar. That's how you'll progress. On your light days, if you are able to hit 15 singles in 15 minutes, then you add 10 pounds to the bar and that's how you progress on your light days. Same for moderate days. If you hit 10 reps with um, you know, 80% or 10, if you, when you hit 10 reps in 10 minutes, then you would add weight the next week. Pretty simple uh, method of progression. Each week will progress organically as things work out. Um, this is good for strength building and muscle building, and it gives you a chance to work on form and try to master form every single rep so you're not just doing rep sets and uh, getting sloppy so i really like this approach i think it's a quality approach i used it for myself uh i used it myself for uh six months to a year and i think it's a great way to train the deadlift without overtraining the deadlift when you first start your first cycle i recommend basing the percentages off of 90 percent of your one rep max so if your deadlift one rep max is 400 pounds 90% of that would be 360 pounds. So these 90, 80, and 70% uh, um, heavy, light, and moderate days would be based off the 360. So you're going to start light. Give yourself, uh, you know, a, a three weeks or whatever to, uh, you know, figure out the demands of the program. If you hit the reps, uh, you know, 5, 10, or 15, then you'll add weight. So guys, hope this hasn't been too confusing. If you have any questions or comments regarding this program again check the link below you can leave comments on that article I'll answer them if I've been too confusing if you have any questions or comments in general for the big hairy ugly dude regarding muscle building strength training diet nutrition supplementation motivation or how to grow a perfect beard kids just come on over to that link below there's a forum Q&A link. You can post your questions there. I answer every question. Try to help you out the best as I can. So kids, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.